way to put a piece of it with the raw edge. Okay, our next step is that we've trimmed it so we've allowed enough for the board to, um, the fabric to cover the top of the board, and as you can see, also enough to be able to tape the edges under. So I'm going to apply one more piece of sealer tape across the top. The nice thing about sealer tape, once it's down, you can press it and it gives you a really, really nice straight edge when you're doing a fold. So if you're doing trims or borders or things like that, the sealer tape makes a really nice fold. So we're going to fold it over and press. And this helps give you a really nice tight crease along with the tape. And of course, remember we taped the top of it together earlier, so your fabric is taped as one between the lining and the face fabric. Now we have our edge turned under so we can, we're can we ready to apply the shade to the board. At this point, uh, you have a couple different ways that you can do this. It can be stapled on with a staple gun. It can be Velcroed where you can Velcro one, to one side and then put the soft Velcro on this side and Velcro it onto the board. Or in your kit, you have received the adhesive tape. So today what we're going to do is just add the adhesive tape across the top and as you've noticed I've taken it just a little bit from the outside edge so again about a quarter of an inch so it's going to cover the area that we folded over so nothing will show out there we're going to press it and at this point I'm going to lay it over the top of the board that has the staples in I'm going to place a couple pins in it to hold it in place, just so it holds it and it doesn't move when we try to take the tape off. <laughs> 